Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to our hillside settlement here, where we are very, very close to being able to transfer over to Henrik. I don't know why he's sad. Henrik and Bolomira are both sad? I wonder if something is going on with the house, maybe? Small child. Small problem. Maybe, the, maybe the house needs to be repaired? Big problem. Yeah. All right, we'll grab a couple planks and fix the roof, see if that improves their mood. Ba -ba -bum. So yeah, uh, I'll just grab a handful in case other buildings. Since we built them all around the same time, these roofs are going to start going at the same time. I think it's just two. Nope, three. All right, let's check. She's at 84 coming down. He's at 69 coming down. So we'll give it a few minutes and see if that registers. I don't know if it works that fast, but. Damn it. Now I'm also complaining. What's she cussing about? Alright, we don't have logs with us. We can grab a few logs. So we should have logs. Last episode. That was a whole thing, right? The whole thing about logs. Um, yeah, we have 118. Let's just go ahead and take eight with us. We should be able to fix. Oh, well, all eight we're going to spend here. Get a few more. Maybe go six. That way we can fix three more walls. We'll start up here with this one. And then uh, now let's see if it changed. Uh, Polomira is at 85 and Henrik is at 70. Okay, so it brought them back up. That's what it was. I diagnosed the problem and fixed it in this game. Wow. That really. Like, honestly, not exaggerating has not happened very many times. Um, hmm. Oh, that's three. All right. Well, I was going to do both of these, but it doesn't look like that's possible now. Okay, we need one more log there. I don't want to do this the whole episode, so just bear with me while I do a few more of these. Oh, perfect. We need six planks down here. Oh my gosh, everything's busted. Oh, we do have these. I don't think we have straw. We have one. Why do we have one straw? He asks for he does not know. We have no straw in here. Hmm, interesting. We could thresh these things. Or we could go up to the main farm and get it. Anyways, um, or good morning rooster. For those of you that maybe haven't uh, clicked on a video here recently, I built this wall around the farmland. Um, we kind of have an entry point here at the well, this lower end of the fields, but lots to Lots to do. I guess I could help out and get these oats. Yeah, I'll do this oat field. This is the last one that they'll get to. Um, hope everybody is is still enjoying the series. We're we're coming down to the to the wire here. To the wire? Is that what I want to say? To the end. Um, I know that the whole point of the game is to have a dynasty and, you know, kind of keep it going, but uh, I just don't really know what else to do. Uh, I know it's a common complaint if you check out the subreddit for this game. You've got people who are like, I've been decorating in this game for 3,000 hours, and you've got other people who are like, I played this game for two days and there's nothing left to do. Um, and that's just personalities, right? That's just the way people are. Some people 
are creative and they continue to find exciting ways to play the game and other people are not so creative and they get fed up with it because it's not scripted the way that they want it to be. Um, I feel like I have kind of a a mixed way of playing. I, I like that the game gives freedom. I wouldn't want it to be super restricted and prescribed. I like that I'm able to pursue the things that interest me within the game. Some things I just really don't want to do. And I like that I can run around and build and I can do kind of site design, if you will, or project manage. How many pigs do we have now? It should be five, I think. Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that's good. I haven't looked at our fertilizer situation for a while, but I think I have this set up properly that... We have somebody in the pigsty who is creating the manure for us. And then we have somebody in the barn who is making fertilizer. So it should be a nice steady stream so that we always have enough fertilizer for the next planting. But I am going to take about a hundred up. What? Except, there we go. Carrying too much. Is it though? Is it really too much? Oh yeah, in this beet field. I don't know if I'm going to need to do that or if the workers will get to it. And then there's going to be that other beet field down by the poppy field over there. So I need to do those. But yeah, I, I really think that this settlement has come a long way. And I think it's, it's pretty fun how it is right now. Why am I carrying an extra bow? Anybody know? Got henbane we don't need. Leather that's extra. We're carrying five pairs of sh simple shoes. We're not wearing any of them because we're wearing boots. Sometimes I'm not sure about myself when I play this game. Uh, okay, that feels better. We'll go ahead and Take a look around here. We have some buckets. We have s oh clay. I don't think I realized we had clay in here. We can use that to make some beer bottles. Let's make eight beer bottles. Eight beer bottles of beer on the wall. I'm going to put the extra clay, if there's room there is, put that in here, take the beer bottles down here, let's check this field, is this going to get done? I might just go ahead and do both of these myself. That way, I will know that it is done. And I don't have to wonder if the workers will get to it. This is turning into quite the farming episode, isn't it? Poppy seeds should be pretty uh, light. So. They do get to it, though, because they planted it. So somebody will do it. But I might as well help out. 
Don't bother me none to help out. I was playing a little bit of a blocky survival game and I was hi Lorelei what where are you headed look at all these yellow leaves look at all these everywhere. they are everywhere because it's, it's fall Lorelei enjoy Aww. So, one thing I wanted to look at, I'm curious, we should have some teenagers now. Well, I guess that's true, Henrik's the oldest. I was going to say, some of them might be ready to move in, but, um, can these ones, too young to work, okay, I guess it's 13. The main way I'll know is that they'll one. complain. Alright, so 200 beetroots here. And I'll put the beetroot seeds and the poppy seeds in here. I don't think I have to thresh. I think the poppy seeds are just poppy seeds. Ba -ba -ba. Nope, I do. It's one of these. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, it is. I don't know exactly what you do. He doesn't poke his nose into my business. I don't poke would probably my take the flowers and like grind them or something, right? Probably should be more something that the kern would do. Uh, okay, beetroot. Oh, there wasn't enough room for all those beetroots in the other storage. You know what that means? Time to swap out some rot. Everybody's favorite episode. Swap out the rot. I can actually fit all of it. That's very surprising. Okay. 1506. So yeah, I was kind of meandered there, but... This is ending up being a pretty agricultural episode, and I imagine most people's lives in this era were pretty strictly agricultural. Um, yeah, I mean, we could do some production stuff if we want. Uh, maybe I'll go help that woman down there who's working in that wheat field mm, I don't know I'll fix the cell points we need eight linen fabric to fix those that shouldn't be too bad I know we have a lot of linen thread up here just weave it into fabric It was a long sprint up the hill. I don't blame you for puffing and puffing. 295. That's that's a lot. I should bring my relatives over. I know people have uh, left comments. Actually, not not too many here in recent videos, which is a little bit sad. I don't know if people are losing interest or they got upset that I didn't do what they told me to do, but what I was going to say is uh, I am aware that, that there are I guess alternative ways to play. There are different things I could be doing that I'm not doing. That In particular, what I'm getting at is some folks really like to min-max their games. They like to say there's one most efficient way to play. And if you've been watching this series, you know I don't really care about efficiency. I'm playing with much more of a... I don't know. I, it's not role play in the sense that I, you know... Good afternoon, Sire. I am Rasimir of the Valley. Like, not that kind of role play. But more like I want to play 
in a way that is moderately historically accurate. Um, I'm not here to necessarily teach. Like, that was one of the things that when I started this channel, I talked about. And, and some people, some of you that are watching now probably initially started watching because... You know, I did a banished series where I was trying to use the Colonial Charter mod pack as a way, essentially as a teaching tool, to do like a history through the years style. And, and I do find that compelling. I mean, obviously I like historical games. I like gaming a lot. I like history a lot. So the combination makes sense. But with something like this game, like, I'm not a medievalist. I'm not going to do a bunch of additional research to prove anything. I just enjoy being uh, immersed in this world and imagining what their what their lives were like. I'm glad that you can't smell, you know, walking past the chicken coop and pig pen with all the manure. But I'm still able to kind of, yeah, immerse myself. I think that's the right word for it. Immerse myself. Alright, we'll put... Do we have room? We do. Okay, we'll put wheat in here and the straw in here. Uh, so we can take a look at the food. Um, I know this is kind of turned into what we do every every episode now is I fix the buildings, I do a few random projects, and then I come in here and show you. But uh, it looks like people aren't really consuming the alcohol that we're making. Uh, and if you go into the management tab, you can kind of tell them, hey, don't consume this or do consume this. I told them not to consume the milk and the soured milk so we could be making cheese. But... You know, we've got some of these juices and whatnot. Now, I don't know if it makes sense to restrict or encourage certain things. Um, like if I, if I restrict, if I tell them not to drink buckets of water, will they then get to these juices and wines more readily? And then, yeah, let's do that. Then they'll hopefully use the buckets of water for production. Yeah, drink alcohol, everyone. That's that's what we're doing here. That's what we're saying. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll drink the the bad apple wine. What could possibly go wrong? So it's going to give me a little bit of food, a little bit of water, 20% poisoning, 40% alcohol. All right, let's try it. Boom. Oh, that's not nearly as bad as the mead. Goodness. Okay. Anyways, so we've got beetroots. We've got uh, some berries that are about to go bad. That's silly. Um... Wow, 300 mushrooms. And, and, thanks for the reminder, it is time to put Sir Roland, who's the oldest guy, <laughs> he's still not happy. Uh, we put him in the herbalist hut for fall. Okay. So yeah, he'll get us another couple hundred mushrooms. So they're at 50%. I might get help with that. A lot of sour milk. Good heavens. A lot of water. Good cheese cherry wine we'll take that since it's about to go bad uh, so I made some fruit pies which they seem to be eating up I like to see that I made some meat pies we're selling mushroom soups which is why I should make a batch of those I've just made so many mushroom soups and I made uh, some poppy seed pies. The porridge with apples is going bad because no one's eating it. 
which is bummer. Uh, a lot of pottage, a lot of cork. I'm slowing them down on the roasted meat. I want to look and see if they have gotten us any fish meat, because I adjusted that. Fish meat. Okay, good. Because there's a recipe for a fish fish tart, I believe. Oh, yeah, I'm walking crooked because... Uh, yeah, so this fish tart here. We need two fish meat for each of those. We, we really kind of have a an issue with the egg. We just don't get enough eggs to keep up with that. All that stuff. So if you look here, if I can scroll fast enough, um, I made all of everything we had with the eggs, and so now there's none. I did that last season, and it's irritating because we have two chicken coops going. Uh, you would think that would produce plenty of eggs and just not enough. I could go buy more hens. I just haven't yet. Um, what did I get? Cherry wine. Do we want to make mushroom soup? Do we want to pick beets? Uh, I might wait. Let's make let's make some mushroom soup. We'll grab. Actually, I think I have bowls down. Let me double check. The way. I think I have. Yeah, I have 500 bullets. Alright, so let's do a batch of 100. If we have the meat for it. So, 100. 100 bow leap. Boom. And, oh yeah, we should do probably more cheese. Maybe make a batch of flatbread. And we'll do a hundred. Sorry if you're hearing the clicking. A uh, hundred meat. Oh, nice meat with gravy's doing well. Hundred parasol. Wow, almost got it right on. And red pines. We need a hundred red pines. Well, I did not do mental math there. Okay. Now, we'll grab the 100 bowls. And we should, nope, soups. Yep, 100, 100 mushroom soups. Good deal, good deal. I haven't heard any uh, complaints on the audio in the last couple videos, so I guess the new recording software has solved our problem. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you for telling me in the first place about the issue. Uh, glad to try to get that sort sorted out, and um, I'm glad it seems to be working out better. Let's do like. Do like 200. Growing up sucks. Growing up sucks. That's not a very nice thing to say, first of all. Second of all, you have no idea what you're talking about. So, good luck, kid. All right. So, if I just get 70 more water, which is seven buckets worth, then we can make all 200 all in one batch. 200 flatbread, which will be all going pretty much for sale. I don't think we can adjust the priority of these things, right? 
So if I go to food items, I can remove this, but I can't sort items. It won't let me say like move cherry pie up or cherry pie down or cheese up, right? I can only, I could restrict so that they'll, like right now they're eat, gonna eat the meat pies first because they ate these other ones, which tracks, I think, I don't know. Oh, flatbread with onion. I think we might need more another onion patch because I, I feel like we always run out of onions. You know how it is with mom. All right, here we go. Two hundred flatbread. I don't know if it makes sense to expand. I mean, I don't really think it does. I think we have a really nice size settlement here and we have enough empty houses that we can put this next generation in them. So, I don't know that we need to expand. Flatbed. There we go. Let's take a look at our sales. See if anything's about to run out that we need. So, dried fish meat, we're selling uh cheese we're selling flat bread we're selling rye bread we're selling pottage we're selling stew we're selling and then oh that's good that's that's looks like maybe we finally reached some balance there should i sell quark does that make sense to sell quark on its own? I mean, we get some coin for it. Or, or maybe I should sell this. If people aren't going to eat it. 64 coin for three of them. That feels like a pretty good price. Yeah, let's do that for now. It's it's really nice to be able to make all this different stuff though. I don't think we've made any vegetable soup. Let's take a look at that recipe. Vegetable soup. Okay. Two of beetroot, cabbage, carrot, and onion. Beetroot. Cabbage. Carrot. And onion. Soup. Two batches of vegetable soup. I think, you know, I think I have like a real, like if I don't like something, excuse me, in real life, I don't really want to make it <laughs> in the game and I don't, I'm not a big vegetable soup fan. So I think that's part of why I didn't ever make it. But, you know, gotta enjoy the range of options we have in this in this wonderful game so let's see what else have we there was like a something in here i wanted to make so we need we have some berries that are about to go bad so maybe i'll make a batch of this two batches of porridge with berries because we have some porridge with apple so we want four oat grain, 40 berries, and two bowls. That's silly. Okay. 
Do I, I think I have oat grain in here. Oat grain, almond O. Over here to grab the oat grain. I do like how I ended up designing this. Oh, what did I say it was? It was two per. Uh, I like how I ended up designing these buildings so close to each other. That was not necessarily the original plan, but over time it made it became evident that that was the right thing to do. Okay, there we go. Two porridge with berries. We're getting some nice food variety. If this was banished, it would give us a nice, nice little happiness boost. Um, I don't really know why we have those. Maybe somebody will eat them. And then leave these here. Are there any other recipes we haven't tried? Uh, I think we did everything here. We've we've made all of those. We've made all of those. Meat with gravy, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs with mushrooms. I know I made these at least once. And like I said, we're having trouble with keeping eggs around. So I don't think I'll do that one. Pork and cheese we've done lots of. Okay. So we did everything there. Yeah, punch it. Um, flatbread, definitely. Flatbread with onion. Mm, I don't know how much of that we've done. But I could go... I mean, I could make a batch of this. It's just really not that big of a deal. Multi-grain bread. I don't know if I've made that. Wheat bread, rye bread... White bread, oat rolls, wheat rolls. Yeah, I've definitely made... I'm pretty sure I've made all those. Pies. We haven't made cherry pie yet. Okay. 15 cherries and 5 eggs. We'll keep that in mind. And then... Fruit tarts we need berries for. So I'll have to wait till next summer. Meat tarts we can do now. We need eggs again. Uh, and then pear tarts. We need eggs. But everything else we've pretty much done. So berries and pears. Do we have any eggs? If we have eggs, we can make some pear tarts right now. One. <laughs> we, have, we have one egg. Okay, well that's that answer. I think uh, as the sun heads over the hill here, uh, you guys have gotten to see pretty much everything I wanted to get done in this particular episode. Thanks so much for being here. My name is Bluebelly. This is Bluebelly Gaming Channel. See you in the next one. Bye for now.